Well, welcome everybody to the Life West podcast. This is Dr. Ron Oberstein, and with me today is probably one of our longest standing employees on campus, at least if we counted from when she started working for the college. And um, I, who I'm going to introduce to you is Vicki Hagagi. Vicki, welcome to the podcast. Thank you. Great to have you. And when I say from longest, you know, maybe one of our first employees, I should say, Vicki, what year did you start? Did you start working for the college? Uh, 1978. 1978. And Life West became Life West in 1981. So right. you were working for Pacific States before that, right? Mm -hmm. And there's such a cool connection on that. And before we get there, I just want to just share with our, share with our listeners, um, you know, what you do at the college and where you're at. Well, right now I'm in the records room of the health center. So I just uh, give files and uh, PT equipment to all the interns. And I do uh, just copies of records when they're requested and things like that. So, um, and a whole bunch of other stuff, but because yeah. you've been in, the, you, I mean, you've been in the clinic for a great majority of your time at, at Life West, and 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 I know you do. You know, you you can help out at the front desk. You can at the you know for the health center. You you can process new patients and do new patient. You know the the new patient intake. You know, I mean, you're well versed in all of that, right? You've done it. You've right. done it all, correct? And and we're so appreciative of every of everything that you do because it's a huge thing what you're doing at the you know at the college. And especially working with our interns and all of our interns know you, obviously. Right. Yeah. You know, because yeah. when they go to get records and things like that, it's like, you know, you're, you're just you're right there. But share with our listeners about, you know, that, you know, how you got with the college in 1978. I know, but I want you just to share with them what, you know, what took place. So they kind of have a, a connection of where you are with this whole Pacific States life was, you know. Well, if they had their uh, chiropractic history class, they would uh, know Dr. George Anderson and uh, Elvira Anderson. Those are my parents. And uh, they uh, basically started the college with uh, Dr. George Wentland. Yes. Uh, they just put some money together and uh, I guess got together with CCE and just started a college and you know a lot of the like Jim Hawkins was one of our first uh, uh, faculty and there's there's you know a few others that might still be around that were there you know back then so it's it's been a long time <laughs> yeah it, it definitely has and and I think the cool thing for everyone to kind of to kind of know is that you know Vicki you know obviously your parent you know you, your father or mother were instrumental in starting Pacific States right and what yeah. they were looking to do was they wanted to start a, a very strong principled school your dad obviously was an upper cervical practitioner right doing nuca right and so yeah. was so was doc you know so was so was it the, the second dr george right and and um and they wanted to start a school that would be able to bring out the values and principles of of chiropractic from a very vitalistic standpoint right and there was such a right. heroic thing that they did i mean to start a school it's one thing to start a practice but to start a school is like you know crazy and so what our viewers our listeners should know is you're actually a chiro kid <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. You are. I mean, your dad was a <laughs> chiropractor when you grew up, right? So you, right? Yeah. So, so you grew up, you know, like just you know, under you know, knowing what an adjustment was, and you know, you probably just saw your dad, and you know, and uh, it's so cool to know you probably had chiropractor care since uh, you know, since your since early birth, days. Pretty yeah, much, yeah. Since, <laughs> since it's so cool. It's so cool. And then your connection, you know, uh, at, you started at the old campus, right, in San Leandro, right, right? and then uh, or San Lorenzo. I'm sorry. And then you, what you uh, there. There's all these stories about how you got to campus, right? You know. <laughs> that, yeah, that. yeah. I didn't get a driver's license till I was 20. <laughs> yep. So, so you, yeah. you either skateboarded or what? What? No, what roller what, skated or um, got a ride or I took the bus. You right. Know? Exactly. And you know, and there's or all I these. Walked, you know. Exactly. <laughs> there's these stories of you roller skating to campus and, you know, that kind of stuff. And, you know, and you were there exactly. You were there with, you know, Dr. Klum when it became Life West in 1981. And you were there with, you know, Jim Hawkins and all these people and with Jim Hawkins beforehand. I mean, going yeah. going back to, you know, 
back to Pacific States in 1978 and anybody who was around back then, you know. I mean, it's just so cool that you have these historical roots and we're so thankful that you're with the college. And I, just for our listeners to know, um, obviously we're starting our 40th year of Life West, you know, and we're, you know, from January, it, we move into, you know, 2021, that's 40 years, right? Uh, right? And, you know, March is our Founders Day, but we're celebrating the whole year as our 40th year because it's a, it's a significant year. And, you know, we're looking to put together a, a, a video or I should say not a video, but a documentary on the history of Life West, you know, going back to Pacific States, 1978, from the very beginning and make that go. And uh, Vicki, if you haven't been been informed, I'll I'll inform you right now that you're going to be part of this as far as, you know, just historical things. Dr. Klum, of course, is is part of it. And Jim Hawkins and, and Dr. Casey is going to be the one, you know, kind of laying out the storyboard and doing all this. But, um, you know, we want your knowledge and you will be putting your knowledge and your recollection back in and, you know, historical things about your mom and your dad and, you know, and uh, and Dr. Wentland and other things like that. So it's really cool. And we're going to make this be um a documentary that will be there for eons to let people know where we came from, where, you know, what we went through and where we are. So I, in advance, I want to thank you for being participatory in that. (laughs) (laughs) Anytime. (laughs) I know. I know. Well, you've got the years to do it, right? I mean, you've got the, you've got the knowledge base. So, you know, I know you kind of grew up in the, you know, in the ethos of give, do, love, serve and, and be able to do that. And I also want people to know that, that, you know, everyone who gets in the clinic will get to know you, right? And now they know that, wow, you're the founder of Pacific State's daughter. And, you know, you can, you can probably, probably ask your questions and please do so because Vicki is a wealth of information. Um, and then the, for our students, and our faculty or our, our, I think you probably know most of the faculty, but our employees who don't know you, when they go in the clinic, just go on the ground floor, just go to the, in the back area from when they walk in the clinic and you're, you're over there in the records, you know, the records area to go back and say hello to you, you know, and so they can kind of now put a face to this conversation of, of, you know, what we have. And especially when students go in and, and when we're back from, you know, COVID and our first quarter students and second quarter students, as you say, are in there um, uh, 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 observing and doing the things that they'll be doing in the clinically inspired learning program, you know, make sure you stop back there and say hello to Vicki uh, because she's back there with a smiling face and, and get to know her because you're going to be knowing her later anyways, you know, when you get into clinic. Um, Vicki, we always end our podcasts. I ask our, I ask our um, participants um, the same question, you know, and it's a really simple question and, and it's kind of off the cuff because it could change in three seconds. You could give me one answer and in five minutes it could be totally different, which is normal when I tell you what this question is. Uh, our ethos of lasting purpose is to give, to do, to love, and to serve, right? Those four words. Out of those four words, at this moment, just right now, right? Which word resonates the most with you and why? And like I said, it could change in five minutes, of course, but, you know, yeah. right now, right, right now, which word? Uh, basically to serve because I've been here forever. And um, I just love, you know, giving, you know, knowledge and whatever to the interns because, you know, they appreciate, you know, anything I can tell them, especially like, you know, what to do when they turn in a, a file to uh, do a PDCS, you know, yeah. I tell them, put your pink in there. Because <laughs> yeah. 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 they always forget, you know. Yeah, absolutely. But that kind yeah. of thing. So you're constantly, I, and I get it, because that's, you're constantly serving, you know, and you're serving, yeah. you're serving the students. So, so thank you for that. You know, because it's it's so important. And I know you could have said give because you're giving. And I know you said do because you're constantly doing a, a, a lot of things. But it's so cool. And love, of course, because you love the interns. You love, you know, what's happening. It, it's just so cool to, to be able to just kind of see for the moment, you know, where that's at. So, Vicki, thank you for being with us, you know, for, you know, 43 years, you know, obviously, you know, from 1978, you know, when it was Pacific States. And thank you for for being part of the college because you really are part of the foundation, the fabric of that, you know, DNA wise from your mom and dad, you know, to, um, you know, to what you've carried forth, you know, throughout the years. So and thank you in advance for participating on the historical journey that we're going to make for where Life West, you know, started in Pacific States and then Life West all the way to where we are now. So just know that we appreciate it. 
just know we appreciate you so, so much. Okay. Thank you. You got it. You got it. And to our listeners, thank you for listening into another podcast. Please go down and, and see uh, Vicki, you know, in the in the in the health center on the bottom floor because she's there. And she'll always give you a big smile. And as we get to know more people on campus, I just think it's so wonderful that we get to introduce you to people that you will meet or you might not have met. Um, it's just a great thing. That's the purpose of these podcasts is to bring our community together. So, um, you know, until we come come at you again, you know, in the following week, uh, keep living your life from above, down, inside out. Remember to love those around you and keep spreading the word of chiropractic. So I'll talk with you again. You'll be able to come back with you with another podcast in another week. And thank you for listening to us today.